Hi everyone, so today I wanted to share with you guys a miracle hair treatment. And when I say a miracle hair treatment, I mean I was absolutely blown away with the results that this really simple technique offered. So this is going to treat three major types of hair problems and it's super inexpensive and super safe. This treats hair that has too much product on it. So if you collect, say, like the 2015, 2016 brats, I heard a lot of people have the same problem as me. They get gel, like hardened or hairspray, whatever it is, up at their scalps, and no matter how many times you wash them, how many times you boil wash them, it doesn't matter. Like, there's always this, like, hard residue. Nothing helped, but this treatment did, and it got rid of it just in one session. The second would be hair that's oily. So if you're familiar with like oil-based hair products, there's certain like serums and if you like ever put like coconut oil or olive oil on your doll's hair hoping to like condition it, that stuff never comes off. It will just sit on top of the hair and make it look greasy for years. And then the last and biggest thing that this fixes is glue in doll's hair. Leaky glue in Mattel dolls. And if you're not familiar with like that, you can watch my video on that I'll link it below, but really quickly, what it is, is from 2007 up until very recently, in Mattel dolls only, they would put glue on the inside of the dolls' heads because they had changed their rooting methods and it needed to be glued down, whereas dolls from like before that were um, rooted through like the lock and loop method and they didn't need the glue in there. But what happens with this glue is that over time, like a grease almost starts to leak out of it into their hair and it makes it super sticky and it like nothing you do will ever like seem to wash it off. It just sticks to your hands, it's disgusting. A lot of people will fully reroute their dolls because of this or they won't want to keep them. And it actually completely got rid of the glue after just one treatment and I tried this on several dolls with 100% success. And what is this you're asking? OxyClean. So this is OxyClean from the dollar store. And this dollar store OxyClean is what I use throughout this video on all of these various problems. It costs one buck. You can buy like the name brand OxyClean at Walmart and it's usually like six or seven dollars for a little tub of it. Two like active ingredients are peroxide and washing soda which are harmless. So this stuff is very inexpensive. This whole big tub will last you a ton of time. Like you could do countless treatments because you really don't need much. So Miss Bell, she is from a 2008 uh, Mattel pack. She has very, very gluey hair. Obviously it's harder to tell in camera than in person, but it's all clumped and it's actually still sticky, like it's coming off on my hands. Now I have a lot of dolls that have been leaking glue on display especially, but it hardens up and it just feels like too much gel, whereas this is actually still sticky and when I like squeeze her head it definitely feels like she's still leaking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash her and condition her like I normally would and see how much like um, build up that removes. And I'm going to focus the conditioner especially up by her scalp. And her hair looks a little crazy because it was in a style and I took the style out. If the doll is really gluey and they have like some kind of hairstyle, it'd probably be in your best interest just to take it out because that way the glue has somewhere to like go, it won't get all caught up in the style. So I towel dried Belle's hair to the best of my ability um, while I was waiting for this water to heat up in the microwave just to assess and I don't know if you guys can see but it's like sticking to my fingers. So. The ends of her hair had been kind of hardened because glue had been like oozing and seeping down to the ends and hardening. So that isn't hard anymore. However, the top by her scalp is very, very sticky. Like it's still getting on my hands. So basically, I'm just going to take a scoop of my OxyClean. Not a whole scoop. And you want the water to be like boil wash temperature just because I find that the hotter it is, the better this works. And you want a decent sized bowl, you don't want to go too tiny unless your doll has like really short hair. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dunk Belle. I'm just going to let her sit for
for like maybe 30 seconds. And then, this is very important, you kind of want to like comb it through. And Belle's hair is kind of naughty because of that hairstyle. But combing it through is going to help like cover more strands and also help scooch the glue residue off the hair. So basically this is like an OxyClean boil wash. And I'm going to repeat that a few times. And once I feel satisfied with that, I'm just going to leave her in the bowl for a while. Now I've left dolls in like overnight before or maybe for an hour or two. It's up to you. I mean at some point the OxyClean's not going to be like active anymore. But it's not going to hurt if you like just leave it overnight. I'm combing Belle extra because her glue is specifically like at the top of her head. Currently I'm not feeling any stickiness, but we'll have to wait and see. Sometimes dolls need multiple treatments. It's not the end of the world if this touches your doll's face paint. I mean, I try to avoid submerging their face paint just in case, but Belle's going to sit for maybe an hour and then I'm going to rinse her out really well and shampoo her with a little dish soap just to get some of the residue out but I'm not going to condition her or boil wash her again and put any gel in because I just want you to see like what this looks like and honestly when I've done this on um, when I did this on my first edition at Raptor High Apple Doll I thought that she was still going to be greasy but when I just shampooed her out twice with this dish soap after the OxyClean boil wash her hair looked amazing it's never looked that nice and she was pretty much in new condition when I got her, so that's just saying something. Another common problem is that certain dolls from the factory are over gelled or hairsprayed. I'm not sure really what they use. But this was an especially big problem on 2015 and 2016 Bratz. And both my um, Backyard Beach Bash Megan and Hashtag Biffle Yasmin, I know it's Yasmin, they have a lot of... Uh, gel in their hair and I washed them and boil washed them quite a few times and nothing really seemed to tackle this and you can kind of see how this is like piecing together so I'm gonna brush out Megan so unlike on Yaz the combing out didn't help as much it still feels very cakey it's almost like the glue on Belle how it like hardens over time you can see it's still like greasy looking and um, Yaz's hair, the comb was a little damp when I brushed her, so that might be part of the reason. So I'm going to soak both of them and uh, do the same thing, comb them out, and I'll show you how they look at the end. Okay, so this is Apple. Now, I didn't show her before, but I used the same treatment to get rid of greasy hair. So her hair was like super oily looking from some product I was using and you can see that her hair looks like brand new this is the best it's ever looked because when I got her she was like oozing lots of glue and she has no glue and no greasiness so this is what I mean by the treatment works on greasy hair and it's the only thing that got rid of the grease I tried all kinds of things it was all that worked then we have then we have Belle who had tons of glue and you can see here that she has absolutely no glue, her hair is just shiny, and like I said, I have not boil washed these dolls um, or used conditioner in their hair. I took them out of the treatment, washed them twice with dish soap, and then let them dry, and this is how it looks. It looks beautiful, and I've actually, she's been sitting out for like a week or two, and it's been really humid, and her hair is not sticky at all. There's no glue left, and her head is actually like a lot softer than it was. And then Megan, she has no more hard clumpy bits. Her, the top of her hair is super soft, as is Yasmin's. Obviously the lengths of the hair look more or less the same because the gel was just clustered at the top. So it got rid of all of the gel or hairspray, whatever that was. It got rid of this glue on Belle and it got rid of the greasiness on Apple. So what do you do if OxyClean isn't something available to you? I didn't even think of this, but at some point I was having a conversation with someone on Flickr and they told me that where they live, OxyClean isn't a product that they can get a hold of. So there are two main active ingredients in OxyClean, and this is what makes it a lot safer to use than say Gugon in terms of like chemical content, because the two active ingredients are washing soda and hydrogen peroxide. So these are both very inexpensive products you can buy. 
and I did some research online and this is how a lot of people make their own OxyClean for like laundry detergent. Now for my purposes, I'd rather just use the dollar store OxyClean because it's already pre-mixed and it has a nice scent to it. But if you don't have that, you can do this and what you're gonna need is just equal parts of hydrogen peroxide and washing soda. I'm gonna be using like probably two teaspoons of each and mixing them in this bowl of warm water. This is Jasmine, she has really gluey hair. You can see all of the grease. I didn't wash her out um, because she's still very much actively leaking so if I wash her, it's, it's not gonna help much. So that's what we're gonna do. just gonna mix it all together and you'll see that it's kind of foamy and bubbly just like regular OxyClean and I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did with the actual OxyClean Oop, we're just gonna leave her to soak for probably half an hour to an hour and then I'll check in with you guys once she's dry. So Jasmine has dried and so these are the results. So she isn't perfect. My peroxide is actually technically expired and I didn't have time to get any like new stuff for this video, but it did get rid of most of the glue. There are a few like kind of, you can see that it's a little shiny up at the roots, but it's not like super sticky anymore. I think a second treatment would get rid of all of this and if my peroxide had not been expired, I think it would have worked even better. I mean, it still foamed a bit, but it definitely wasn't as powerful as it could have been. So if you're gonna do this, I really recommend making sure you have like a pretty fresh bottle of hydrogen peroxide. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that this hair treatment can help a lot of you out. I can only share like what I do and what works for me in my opinion, but as always do lots of research and, and until next time, love your dolls, love yourself, and love your life.